uh, hello everyone, here is my very, 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 very much delayed review of Star Wars The Force Awakens, because I have a freaking poster of it. I'm so happy. I have a shirt, I have all the Subway collectible cups, I have the theater collectible cup. Oh, this is like, for me, this was very much the most anticipated movie, in my opinion, probably since the Avengers, or at least the first Hobbit. And, uh, I'm, they say, like, just, for the record, I'm not gonna make, I'm, this is not gonna be, like, two videos, like, spoiler free, spoiler, no, that's way too redundant, too many people have already done that, I'm just making it, you, like, my honest thoughts, including spoilers, so you have been warned, if you don't want to see this, if you have not seen this movie, you still haven't seen it, turn this video off, do yourself a favor, and see it. With that instead, at this point, it's basically up to you if you want this movie to be spoiled to you or not. At this point, who gives a crap? I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. Um, did this movie disappoint me? No. <laughs> I... Oh, fuck. I fucking loved this movie. It seems like almost every movie this year I was anticipating has not let me down. Um, but it's like, this movie is just excellent. I loved it. The old cast was great. The new cast was excellent. Poe, um, Poe Dameron, um, played by Oscar Isaac. He's awesome. He's, I can tell, like, he's very much going to be the new Han so he, he has a lot of charm, like, ability, coolness to him. Um, John Boyega as, um, well, Fett? Oh, fuck. I, I forgot his name. That's pretty awful. I'm sorry. Um, but he was great, he, he, like, he was a heart and, I thought he was more of the heart and soul of the movie, he had all the most emotional scenes. Um, you had Daisy Ridley's character, I forgot her name, uh, unfortunately, um, she was excellent, she was very much the straight person of the new cast, she was very, very great, I loved her scenes, she, she had, she, she, she was very much the, she was very much the spine of the new pe of the new cast. And where po where uh, um where Poe Dameron's no well that's her no I'm just getting myself confused. The new cast was great. Uh, Oscar Isaac was excellent. He is very much the spirit of the new cast. Uh, John Boyega was very much the heart of the new cast. And Daisy Ridley was very much the spine of the new cast. He just molded together great. I thought they were excellent They're on the shirt. Uh, the old cast. Excellent. Uh, I love how they introduced every, uh, every, every single old and new character in this movie. I loved it all. The way he started it in was great. The tone, the focus, the great feeling of it all was excellent. They knew what the narrative focus and material was. They wanted to make what was... They, they essentially, is a big thing. This movie was b being both a tribute to the great Star Wars movies, and yet trying to learn from the bad ones. Even this movie at times you can kind of tell it was very much it was reminiscent of the same plot or same story um, scales of the original first movie which is my personal favorite. Um, so that was, I thought I liked that. That was a great little hand back to it. All the little nods to the originals those were brilliant. Those I thought those were handled brilliantly. They weren't forced or anything. They felt subtle. They felt good. Um, the way this film was edited felt like Star Wars. There was a cross cuts. There was a fade of black, like like that. Like it very much felt like the original Star Wars movies with the great editing and the way the great ways they transitioned into other moments, other new settings. Jakku was a great memorable place. It was, yes, it's very much like Tantooine. But it's so gorgeous the way it's shot. It's so damn well done, and I loved it. The emotional, heavy, strong moments were just brilliant as well. The cast knew how to work with this material, and knew how to make work with it very, very well. His some of the dialogue was kind of weird and then kind of wooden. Like, like when you're reading the script, I don't know the script. It's like when you read the dialogue from the script. You're probably like, this is sounds ridiculous, but it's like the way they execute it is done in such a love, and such a care and love and passion for the material. You know it's genuine. It's truly genuine the way it comes across. I loved it. Um, is that, uh, as a flaw? Is that none. Uh, also, the way they did, the way they kind of 
Uh, like I said before, there's going to be spoilers. So, um, the way, speaking of spoilers, the way they killed off Han Solo, I felt was actually very appropriate. They, I loved how they can't, I, I wasn't how they loved the, the cancel out the old canon, but the way it kind of felt like the, this is like a new introduction to a new part of St Star Wars that are cl that are cleaning out with a new script, only with a clear new p vision for it. I thought it was very very well done. I was I'm very very happy with J.J. Abrams, even though he canceled out the old canon, which pissed me off. But you know what? If he if he if what he does is good in this movie, which it was. I'm very, very happy for what he did. Um, just, oh my god, there's so much about this film I love. The cast was great. The effects were astonishing. I was amazed by how good they were. It's like, um, I'm not trying not to do that Um, the cast was just brilliant. The effects were astounding. The way they transitioned into other scenes. The way the movie ended as a whole was just like, my god. It's like, it felt kind of like Star Wars. I felt like both, you got a good sensation of what you watched. It's like, yes, that was excellent. That's exactly what I ordered for Star Wars. But it still doesn't leave you full. It, there's still some there for you to be like, okay, I want some more. And it ends on that note where it's very much like reminiscent of, it's very much reminiscent of like, oh, what are we going to do in the future? Ooh, promise. And I love that. There's so much film, there's so much about this film that I just love, 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 love. Loved. Now I will say this, uh, Domino Gleason's character, well I really do like him and he very much, you can see him very, very much like trying to channel like, he's essentially like Peter Cushing's character in the original A New Hope. Um, while I did like him and he, and he did give a, um, well I, I like his presence in the film, it felt, he, he kind of did feel a bit, uh, one notice, like, it was very much like I'm very loyal to the Empire of this. I'm like, while he, I really enjoyed him, his character was a bit fat, admittedly, and as much as I just adored this movie, they completely wasted Max von Sydow. Like, of course, I'm talking about spoilers here, uh, like, first five minutes, first five minutes, they kill him off. I'm like, the fuck? You got one of the most, well, you got one of the greatest old actors of all time, and you just had him in this movie for a little cameo. The hell. And also, uh, that's just very long manner nitpicks about everything else. Even Andy Serkis, even though you don't get to see him, you get to see the hologram of his character. was also great. This weird old wise, wise uh, character who's not being Ben Kenobi or anything. Like, like this uh, CG character they've addressed is not, like, they, they say in the movie, is, is not a Jedi. He's like, I'm not a Jedi, but I know a lot about the Force. I'm like, I like that. I, it's like, you don't get um, the complete, loyal, biased, 100% Jedi perspective on the Force. You get someone outside of the Jedi Order set to look at the Force, and I like the perspective. Um, the use of practical effects were astonishing. I was really, really amazed by that, personally. I was like, Christ. It's like, I thought, like, it's like... Uh, I'm, I'm trying to make this as short as possible. Uh, I just love so much of this. The way it was so well done. I have little nitpicks here and there. And I will say this. is like, um, they went, the way they built up Luke Skywalker was very, 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 very well done. Although I was losing my temper. But I'm like, just show me Luke Skywalker. I really want to see him. And then as soon as you get to see Luke, you're like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yes. I'm good to see him. And it's like, last minute or so, I'm like, and it ends, I'm like, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. It's like, you got me so close and yet so far. It's like, mm, you pulled it up so damn well. God damn it, man. God damn it. Um, oh, nothing more to say, but Star Wars The Force Awakens, it's freaking back. And I'm happy for that. It's, <laughs> it's, Possibly the best movie of the year. It's possible. It 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 is. It's my favorite movie of the year. So it is my favorite movie of 2015. I loved, loved. I fucking loved this movie. If you haven't seen it, see it. it it's so worth it. Uh, and I saw it in 3D. Well, I will say the 3D. 
um, Molly, your success of reading this movie were good. You're, you're, there's almost no difference from seeing it. Like, uh, I haven't, seen, I've only seen it once at this point. Uh, I can just say to you, is like, if you had a choice to see this in 3D or not, don't see it in 3D. There's no, there's no point to it. Even though it looks nice in 3D, there's no reason to see it in 3D. There's probably no different. There's no difference at all to see it in 3D or not. And as a whole, I'm just like, yeah, it's a poor utilization of 3D. Even though it was used good, it's not like a main priority to see it in 3D. It's like, it's not like The Hobbit or uh, How to Train Your Dragon t um, 2 where you see it in 3D. You're just like, okay, this really improves the experience. It really does. With those two movies, this movie is like... It doesn't need to be seen in IMAX. It, there's no point to it. Uh, not in IMAX. I saw it in IMAX. It was excellent in IMAX. Uh, just 3D is like, it's good, but there's no point for it whatsoever. Um, but as a whole, I fucking loved Star Wars The Force Awakens. I would highly recommend it to you. I did. In the end, I give it 100%. Bye.